Hey guys, Evan here with Easy Custom Ag. As promised, we're back out in the field today and uh, we came out in the plot. Actually, to show you guys why we call it Agri Gold. I uh, love this time of year. We can go out, look at some ears, and uh, kind of get a guess of where we're going to be here in the fall. Um, we got four families here today. We got family G, two family Fs, um, and a family H down here on the end, just to kind of show you different ear types, different leaf structures, um, and also some disease pressure. Uh, something we don't do a lot here at home is um, leave fungicide out of the program, but for this demonstration plot, um, that is something that we did. There was no fungicide applied to any of these hybrids, um, and it's starting to show here uh, middle to late September. Uh, something that was surprising, I haven't seen in any of our fungicided acres, we're starting to see some tar spots show up just on the, uh, these are ear leaves, but it seems to be kind of consistent throughout the whole plant. And as you can tell, um, our family H looks like it's been affected the worst. Um, that could be a hybrid specific thing, uh, something we're going to look more into as we walk uh, bigger plots rather than just our 200 foot show plot here. So. Starting out, we've got 645-16, it's a 115 day hybrid. Uh, we plant a lot of this on our farm. It's been a very good yielder for us. Um, dries down very well for a 115 day hybrid. Um, great fit for a lot of farms being a family G. Our two middle hybrids here are both 112 day, uh, 642-05 and 642-59. Uh, 642 has been a huge yielder for us for many years. Uh, one that we love to plant, um, has great standability for us um, as long as it gets fungicide on it and uh, has just been just been a great yielder. 64205 is one that we just started planting this year. Um, one that we got some plot data off of last year that looked really good. Um, we've got some acres out this year that we can report back on. Uh, the ears don't look as impressive here compared to its counterpart of 64259. Uh, but with the data we got from last year and what I've been hearing early this year, that this could really be a heavy hitter. Maybe just wasn't in the right type of soil conditions, uh, what we're looking at right here. And it's just two ears, so going through the field, the yield monitor will tell the, tell the story. Um, last one we're going to look at here is the uh, actually the number one selling corn hybrid in Ohio for Agrigold, uh, 639.40. Uh, very good hybrid. Um, we put it on put it on a lot of different acres. It can go across a lot of different acres. Um, gives you a lot of kernel flex, so it likes to have a long grain fill period. But they're filled out to the tip. You notice the other ones had some tip back, and that's by design. A lot of those hybrids we know are going to have tip back every year. Six thirty nine forty um, always seems to fill that ear pretty well. Always gives us great grain quality, and. Uh, Really a, really a great overall hybrid. Uh, if we look at the disease package, it's not quite as good on tar spot, it doesn't look like, but that's really all we're seeing. Gray leaf spot, uh, not seeing a whole lot of that or northern corn leaf blight throughout the, uh, throughout the ear leaf as we would expect it to be a very clean hybrid. As we look in our family Fs, we're starting to see some gray leaf spot um, on the ear leaf here. No northern, which I haven't seen a lot of northern in our area this year. But uh, tar spot coming in a little bit, but not as strong as it is here on uh, 639.40. So just, uh, you know, my personal opinion, just one ear out or one leaf out of the field. Um, looks like it has a little bit better resistance to tar spot. Um, coming into 642.05, uh, we're seeing some more tar spot, seeing some more gray leaf spot. Um, being a family F, we always say F stands for fungicide. Uh, we would expect to see disease in this corn without having fungicide on it. Uh, still think we're going to have some pretty good yields out of it at the population. Uh, 645-16, uh, family G. Leaf is looking fairly clean, got a little bit of gray leaf spot. Looks like it has very good uh, tar spot resistance. Have not looked in the book to see what it's rated at from an agron agronomist standpoint. But just going off our infield experience here, which is what we like to do, uh, looks like it's got a pretty good rating on tar spot. Um, good news for us is it came in late, so we're not going to worry about spraying for tar spot here. But uh, just kind of wanted to give you guys a sneak peek on these four hybrids that we've got out in our show plot. Um, we have over 20 hybrids in the back. 
that are in an actual production plot that have, uh, well, we've got multiple companies, multiple hybrids, and they're over an acre per entry. So um, we get some pretty good yield data off that and like to get that published to you guys on the website after harvest this year. Uh, so you guys can kind of take a look at our notes and the actual yield data from it. So thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next time out in the field.